All right, let's get the reaction now from Cardiff Market, yes, where our national reporter Paul Hawkins has been talking to shoppers and stall holders. There we go, Paul, good stuff, yes. What's it like at the market? The shutters are coming down, uh, shuts of five, so uh, it's winding down here uh, today. But we've been here all day talking to the traders and to the shoppers. And uh, in terms of those measures announced by Jeremy Hunt that directly affect people's lives in a much more immediate way than the big funding announcements, uh, the, uh, the freeze in uh, duty on draft beer, that's been warmly welcomed. Also, the freeze in uh, duty on fuel as well, that's been warmly welcomed uh, by uh, a lot of people here. Um, in terms of what it means for Wales, this budget, £180 million in extra funding for the uh, Welsh government. They don't have to follow uh, the Westminster government's policies, of course. They can choose to do what, uh, with that money what they want. Um, the childcare announcement made by Jeremy Hunt today, that only applies to England. Now, in Wales at the moment, if you have a three- or a four-year-old, you can get 30 weeks of funding uh, per week, 30 hours, I should say, per week funding. Uh, and that they're looking at extending that to all two-year-olds. Some two-year-olds do get it who are uh, from low-income families. But there will be pressure on the Welsh Government to take some of that £180 million that's been allocated to Wales today and to use that for childcare funding. Uh, the Welsh Labour Government already coming under uh, pressure for implied and the Welsh Conservatives on uh, that one. In terms of other announcements uh, today, uh, one of those 12 investment zones will come to Wales. So that's an eight, extra £80 million worth of funding over five years for that investment zone. Again, the Welsh Government will probably have a say on where that ends up in Wales. Uh, and then uh, the Hollyhead Breakwater as well, which is basically a seawall that protects Hollyhead in Anglesey. It's about 150 years old. They've uh, announced £20 million worth of funding today to shore up the seawall that protects Hollyhead. But in terms of the day-to-day -day, uh, uh, assistance with people's lives here, yes, the energy bill help, uh, the extension of that help has been warmly welcomed. Also, the announcements on beer and on fuel duty have been warmly welcomed. But businesses are saying... Definitely speaking to people here, they're disappointed that there aren't more tax cuts and that there isn't more assistance for small businesses, certainly in terms of grants. So there'll be a little bit of pressure on the Welsh Labour government to maybe dig into that 180 million and try and help businesses out where they can there. Lovely stuff, Paul. Thank you very, very much. Paul Hawkins, our national reporter from a market in Cardiff, known as Cardiff Market. I wonder how they came up with that name. Anyway.